Hello, so we are back and this time we have a different kind of uh, job. So this is an iPod. You know this iPod, right? Yeah. Let's check the customer email. Customer is a computer business and they are saying, a client of mine has brought uh, me an older iPod touch and she is desperate to get the content off. The iPod doesn't switch on and no charging symbol when plugged in. It's just straight dead. Well, a data recovery job, huh? Let's test that first. Because I'm going to pull up a trick. I'm pretty sure what is the problem. And uh, I'm going to show you. So what do we have here? We have the charging cable. We have the USB-C. And check here, yeah? We have the meter. And that's all, all what is doing the iPod. We can press the buttons. So what do you want me to do? Pressing the button. Uh, we can hold the button, I can press like multiple buttons, nothing it will happen. Check that, yeah? Power and volume down, nothing happened. Power, power and volume up, nothing happened. Power and uh, home button. Oh wait, it's working? Okay, let's try it one more time. Power and home button, and it's staying on, the meter is staying on. 5.1 volts and 100 milliamps and it's switching off. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. It's just dead. Let's try this one more time. You see the meter it's on because, you know, the, this is a genuine upper cable and has a chip there. And that's all. It's like shorted. So how we can fix this because the customer want the data. Huh? We have to open to perform like a data recovery job, check the board, check everything, right? Well, it's a, it's a common problem with not only iPad and iPod. This was like the most uh, with this, pro this problem, iPod and iPad. But with any tablet where there it's a replaceable battery. So what is the difference between you, this battery and let's say a laptop battery? A laptop battery it will get locked. You cannot replace the cell, so uh, that battery can never be used. But this one is made to be replaced. Yeah, I mean, they can replace the battery. We can replace the battery, so the device cannot lock the battery or cannot lock the, the circuit. Yeah. So what happened here? Over uh, over time, um, the the batteries the batteries they are getting used, and when the battery is getting used, not only the capacity is going down, but the resistance is going high. When you have a battery with high resistance, then the charging circuit try to push pa power current. The battery is taking no current, and it will not gonna charge, like on this case. So I'm pretty sure this iPod is good, yeah. And the only problem is the battery. So how we can fix the battery? The battery can be fixed. Well, here it's another trick, yeah? The battery has a chemistry. And the trick I'm going to pull today is actually changing the internal resistance of the battery without opening the iPod. I mean, how many of you, you remember, you remember the AA battery, the, the AAA battery. So your battery died. How you pull up more current out from that battery? You squish it. Yeah, and the battery, you know, is still working for a little bit. That's, what, that's how you change the, the chemistry inside of the battery. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to grab the hot air. Because that's how we're going to change the, the battery internal resistance. We are changing the temperature of the battery. Uh, let's try it to like 300 degrees Celsius. Let's see. I don't know if it's working. Yeah, so I have no idea, but I'm, I can only assume because this was a common issue on the iPods and iPads. The customer wants the data back, so we have to fix it. Dodgy repair? Who cares? It's about the customer. If the iPod is coming on and charging, the customer can take the data out. I mean, I can only hope it will work. I can only hope. Uh, the flashing changed, you can see. 
Yeah, it is super hot. I mean, for me, it's not enough the keys to be hot. I want the battery to be hot. No, like here, here is cold. Let's try to unplug the, the charger and plug the charger back. Holding the home button. Plugging the charger, nothing. Holding the home button, and now it's coming on. It's taking some current, but not enough. Not enough current. Okay, I think we need more heat. And the current went to zero. A hundred twenty milliamps. Four hundred milliamps. Check that. Four hundred milliamps. We should have the charging sign soon. Still hot. No charging sign. Okay, I'm assuming if I unplug the charger now, it should start charge. Yeah, 400 milliamps. We should have the, the Apple sign uh, soon, the charging sign. I'm gonna leave it for a bit. Still nothing, we left it like a few minutes. Uh, let's reset the iPod. Yeah, it's getting reset. We have the charging sign. Check there. Huh? 750 milliamps. Yeah. Old skill, baby. <laughs> yeah. Work smart, not hard. I'm just saying, this is an old trick. Old trick. Yeah. And from what i seen here, this iPod was never open. I mean, it looks like was never open. I mean, no point opening if we can fix it without opening, right? Now, uh, very soon, the iPod, uh, it will come on, then the customer can charge it. Obviously, if the customer, it will let the iPod, yeah, it's coming on. If you let the iPod for a few months without charging, it will come back on the same state. The solution, the solution, obviously, is replacing the battery. But the customer doesn't care about the iPod. He wants his data back. And for the data, I believe this is a well fix. I mean, check here. The last date was 30 August. I mean, a few months. Yeah, obviously the battery died. Of course, now the battery is holding the charge. Yeah, that's not the problem. The problem is the battery internal uh, resistance. Touch screen, touch screen, it's working. We have a password there. Yeah. Good. Now the customer can recover the data. Did you know this trick? Huh? Probably the old people, they will know. The old people on the, on the business. So from now on, if you have a problem, like a case like this, try to heat up the battery. And you can have a surprise. Now I'm gonna stop here, the iPod is charging fine, check the like 800 milliamps, no problems, everything is fine, we can unplug it, plug it, we can shut it down, all good. A perfect repair, right? I'm not gonna say easy pizza, but it is a easy pizza. If you know how to do it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here, I will say thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only 
cult collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products, or our Patreon page. Thank you.